Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today we're going to unbox this Philip Advan uh, bottle sterilizer and dryer and then we're going to try it out and see how well this machine works. On top you have a bunch of documents. So a bunch of them. This is the most I have seen for a bottle sterilizer. Alright, let's see. Okay, super easy to get it out. A little tool. I'm not quite sure what this is. I think it holds the bottles inside. All right, here's the basket. Here's the bottom of the machine. All right, so the design is a little bit interesting, but it seems to be easy enough to use. I'm gonna wash this up a little bit and then go try it out. All right, so let's talk about the exterior of the machine first. You have the tongue, you have the lid. And you have the small basket here. Now the bigger, the larger basket, there's a tray underneath that you need to put inside here. And this is the base. Now base here, you need to put water in here when you're doing sanitizing. I'll show, show that to you in a little bit. But underneath, now the power cable, you can actually wrap around here to make it shorter. So it's easier to store. Now here is the filter. According to the instruction, every four weeks or so, you need to check on it and clean it. Operation is really simple, just a knob. You only have three options. So you have sterilizing, auto, and drying. So auto including sterilizing and drying function as well. According to the instruction, the sterilizing takes about 10 minutes to do. The drying takes about 30 minutes. The auto that will be combining the two, which is about 40 minutes for start to finish. Now the button here is on off button. So you select whichever one you want and then hit the on and turn it on. Now once it's done, it will turn it off or you can just hit it again and then shut it off. Okay, now I'm going to do some tests in terms of what kind of bottle you can fit in here. Now the issue with this, as you can see in a little bit, here is a tall bottle from Dr. Brown, 8 ounce. So you can see it's already coming to the top. Now what happened is tall bottles, they are not going to work. First of all, I tried to cover this with a small basket. It's not going to close. That's one. And then if you don't want to use that, if you just want to use the lid to close it, it won't close either. So tall bottle doesn't work on this machine. As you can see, it's already uh, flat on the on the tray itself, so it won't go any lower. Okay, so what about the small bottles? So I have here the Dr. Brown 4 ounce. So this will fit in here just fine. And then small bottle, this is also 4 ounce. The Event Flow, this one is actually the 5 ounce bottle. This one fits in here as well. We also have the Chico. This is also 5 ounce. Komotomo. This is also 5 ounce. And a different version of the Avon bottle. This one is also 4 ounce. So the small bottle fits in here just fine. And it fits 6 in here with room to spare. So now uh, the top part, we can put this basket here. Then we can put all the accessory on top. Now, if for whatever reason you run out of rooms on the top tray, you can also put it inside the large basket as well, as long as all the accessories are facing upward. So if you're going to put a cap in there, make sure you put it in like this, not upside down, because the steam needs to hit the interior in order to sterilize and also dry. If you put it like this, the water might get stuck inside, it won't go anywhere. Now in terms of the water that you're going to put inside here, uh, you need to put 130 ml of water. I would strongly suggest you to use distilled water 
With distilled water, uh, you have less chance of developing uh, scaling issues along the base of where the water reservoir is going to be. If you have scaling issue, then you have to do the scaling. According to the instruction, you probably have to do once every four weeks. Right, so I have the distilled water here. Now, if you don't have a measuring cup that can measure up to 130 ml, you just need to get a baby bottle. And this one goes to 150 ml. So I just pour in uh, 130 ml of distilled water. And now I'm going to pour inside here. The amount of water you need to pour in, it goes right up against the 130 ml measuring line on the base of this machine here. So even if you don't have any measuring tools, which is totally okay. So now the water is in, make sure you don't pour it into the air vent here. The water cannot go inside here. So now I'm gonna put the large basket in, small basket with accessories. Now I'm gonna do it auto, so I'm gonna set it to the middle and I'm gonna time to see whether or not it actually take 40 minutes to do the whole process. So let's try this. And now it started, the light is blinking. All right, so the whole process is finished now. And it took about 39 minutes and 14 seconds, give or take, to finish the whole process from start to end. So yeah, it's about 40 minutes you can expect if you turn on the auto mode. Uh, as far as for the inside, you still see some water around the basket, but as far as for the accessories, they are all dry. The bottles, uh, there's still a little bit of water, residual water inside. Oh wait, that's just the outside. Inside is dry. Uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, so the water is only appearing on the outside. Still a little bit left, but as far as for inside, they are all dry. All right, so my final thought about this machine. Pro is that it is super easy to use. There's only one knob and three functions. You can just set it and forget it. Now the con is that this machine, I believe it works really well with the Avon bottles but not with other brand. Now, the reason why I say that is uh, Evan bottle, they probably have something that can hold more liquid, but it's still a short bottle. But for other brands such as Dr. Brown, bottle that can hold more liquid it will be a tall bottle. As you can see from earlier in the video, I just couldn't close the lid for this machine to function correctly. So if you are using only Philip Evan bottles, this machine probably is the best option for you. But if you use other bottles, tall bottles, then this machine will not work for you. So this is my review of the Philip Evan sterilizer and dryer. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.